Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Run Free and Strong. I'm Ray Tuck. Today we have a very exciting first impression shoe review. We're going to review the Hoka One One Evo Speed Goat Trail Shoes. Full disclosure, I paid for these shoes with my own money. Nobody paid for these shoes and nobody paid me to do the review. This is my own opinion. Today's first impression shoe review is going to be in four parts. First, I'd like to share with you my Hoka trail running shoe shoe rotation to provide a little bit of context of where the Hoka Eva Speed Goat fits in my shoe rotation. Two, we're going to cover the key features and specs of the Evo Speed Goats. Three, we're going to take these shoes out for a couple of trail runs. And four, we're going to come back for wrap up and a final verdict on the Evo Speed Goat shoes. First, I'd like to review my Hoka trail shoe rotation. I own four different Hoka trail shoes, the latest one being the Evo Speed Goat that we'll review, the Speed Goat 4, the Torrent 2, and then Challenger ATR6 Gore-Tex version. On this matrix, I've highlighted the key features and specs for a quick side-by-side -side comparison. My go-to trail running shoes are Torrent 2. I probably run 80 to 90% of my trail runs in the Torrent 2. The Challenger ATR6 I use primarily for adverse weather conditions. The Speed Goat 4 is a technical trail shoe for me and I use it particularly on the Appalachian Trail. And the Evo Speed Goat, it is intended for ultramarathon racing and up-tempo workout on trails. For 2021, I've registered for three ultramarathons. The Seven Trails 100 Mile Ultra Marathon in April in Damascus, Virginia, the 68K Swiss Alpine Mountain Trail Race in Davos, Switzerland in July, and finally the Yeti 100 Mile Ultra Marathon again in Damascus, Virginia in September. I would like to use the Ewa Speed Goat for some up tempo training, the 68K Swiss Alpine Mountain Trail Race and some potential FKT, or fastest known time, attempts on local trails. So let's talk a little bit about the Evo Speed Goat. The Evo Speed Goat is built on the same platform as the Speed Goat 4 with some key differences. If I can sum up the Evo Speed Goat in a few words, it is a high performance, fast, light, responsive, and durable trail racing shoe. The Evo Speed Goat retails for $160 in the US, which is a $15 premium over the Speed Goat 4, which is not a huge premium given what the shoe represents. The Evo Speed Goat is a neutral trail running shoe with a medium stack height and a low drop. It has a 32 millimeter heel stack and a 28 millimeter forefoot stack for a four millimeter heel to toe drop. It's the same stack height and drop as the Speed Goat 4. However, the shoe comes in at a super light 9.3 ounces or 264 grams. That is comparable to the Torn 2, which is 9.1 ounces or 258 grams, and a full 1.5 ounce lighter than the Speed Goat 4, which weighs in at 10.8 ounces or 306 grams. Like the Speed Goat 4, the Evo Speed Goat has an EVA midsole for great cushioning. Where the Evo Speed Goat does differ from the Speed Goat 4 is both in the upper and the outsole. The Evo Speed Goat has a matrix mesh upper reinforced with Kevlar, which makes it highly durable and tear resistant and lighter than the engineered mesh in the Speed Goat 4. It has 
Fewer overlays, which combined with the Kevlar, still provide a very good midfoot lockdown. And it has a lycra strip over the tongue, which ensures a better fit to the runner's foot. Like the Speed Goat 4, the Evo Speed Goat has a Vibram Mega Grip outsole with 5mm lugs and a very aggressive tread pattern. Where the Evo Speed Goat does differ slightly from the Speed Goat 4 is that the Evo Speed Goat has three flex grooves in the outsole, whereas the Speed Goat 4 has one. These grooves enable more flexible, more stable traction on highly technical trails and improve the heel to toe transition and the overall running experience. For part three of our first impression review, we're going to take the Evo Speed Goat out on two different trail runs. The first is approximately six mile run on the Appalachian Trail in Connecticut with about 2,000 feet or 600 meters of climbing. The second trail run is a 25 mile long run in Waveney Park, also in Connecticut, on a groomed trail. Let's go have a run and then we'll come back for the final wrap up and verdict. Today we're also wearing and testing our new Hoka Evo Speed Goats in citrus and black colorway. Winter Wonderland out here, it's beautiful. Holy cow, everything's blowing off the trees here. Yay, we get to do some running. Short section here. Beautiful single track here. Just totally awesome. We're ready for our Sunday long run. Let's go. Straight cruising. Headed for bruising. Watching out for number one You gotta slow down Look around you, son Today is just today And not tomorrow Where you're going You can rest your head Where you're going So now that we finished our two trail runs, let's do a quick wrap up and final verdict. 
We've put about 30 miles or 48 kilometers on these shoes in the two runs. So we have a pretty good idea and it's probably a little bit more than a first impression review. First, what I like about the Ego Speed Goats. They're light, they're fast, they're comfortable, which is everything I like about the Torn 2. And I felt very secure and very stable on the technical trails in adverse weather conditions. Well, two very small call outs. One is, like the Speed Goat 4, the Ewa Speed Goat will need a little bit of breaking in. Not unusual for a trail running shoe. And two is the laces are very thin. I did have to double knot these to prevent them from coming undone. Neither one of these is a big deal. So final verdict, a really lovely Hoka Evo Speed Goat Trail Running Shoes. Even at a $15 premium over the Speed Goat 4, these are terrific trail running shoes. Over the long term, these will replace the Speed Goat 4. There's no need for me to have both the Speed Goat 4 and the Evo Speed Goat. These will do everything that the Speed Goat 4 can do and more. I hope this first impression shoe review of the Hoka Evo Speed Go trail running shoe was helpful. Would really appreciate it if you give the video a big thumbs up, hit the like button, and leave me a comment below with any questions or comments. If you're new to this channel, would really appreciate if you consider subscribing. I upload content three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.